Hello from Slovenia again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. You know how I love these double dips with MDF boards. So today I decided that I will try something and I mixed in my pearl uh, in <laughs> my white mixture that it just was white with my pouring medium a little bit of this polyurethane satin varnish from Vallejo and I really want to see if this will make any difference and I put all both of them both of my boards together so I will just uh, it will be easier for spreading my paint and drizzling on it because I will have both together I I don't know it will be just easier maybe for me to to work with but I normally didn't do it like that so it's a little different consistency because of this uh, satin varnish in it Uh, so I want to see what will happen maybe it will <coughs> not make <coughs> sorry something in my throat any difference at all but maybe it will as I said a lot of times if you don't try you don't know that's how it is in pouring acrylic pouring fluid art world you have to play explore and sometimes you get something nice out of it As I thought, I probably had too much paint and there is not much of a difference between uh, white paint probably I should add just less color on the top of my white so you know what I will scrape this in my cup and I will use it in one of my other projects and I will scrape this from the table and I will add just a tiny bit of paint on the white because I think that I should get some effects with this okay
so. Let's add some of this really thin black just on top. See how they react. What a weird thing. See? This polyurethane on top. So this blue. <laughs> of the gold. Maybe a little bit of this yellow. Let's see. Press. And pull apart wow. oh, I really like that all these colors popping through this black you see let's torch this a little bit so maybe that polyurethane shouldn't be on top because now I did get those uh, effects that I was hoping for before I start this. So maybe it should be, I should do it with um, colors on the bottom and then pour some of this white mixture with polyurethane on top and squeeze them together because there is a lot of beautiful details now and beautiful lacing and I have something in there get out okay I really like the effects I have to play with this some more so I will take it for a close-up that you will see what I'm talking about see I just love this um, how they came, these colors came through. So interesting. So next time I will try to do colors, drizzle some colors on the board first and maybe then add this white mixture with polyurethane varnish because I really like how 
how you can see all these things coming through those colors it's really see a lot of lacing and I think that it turned out pretty interesting now what do you think should I try with this polyurethane <laughs> play some more to maybe get some see what effects we can get with it I think that I will because I really like how it looks now and maybe this thin down black did some effects too because you see there is a lot of kind of lacing black lacing on top I have to say that I really like that now. It's dramatic with some gorgeous details. So I will not cut this video because I think that it's important that you see uh, the whole thing maybe. So tell me if you want to see those um, um, experiments that I I did from the beginning to the end or maybe you would just prefer the final result so this is it for today and see you on the next one bye